Thanks for joining me for today's short scale study. Today, we're going to build our tone and technique in the key of concert C major. That means we're going to start on French horn with our low G. And we're going to start with a G open, then an A, one and two. Our third note is B, second fingering, and then C, D, first valve, E, open, F sharp, because it's part of the key signature, second valve, and then G, second line G is open, is open again. Our starting pitch is right there. Let's do it. Number one, major scale and arpeggio quarter notes. One, two, three. Next, we'll do the major scale and arpeggio. This time, we're going to use the rhythm pattern of eighth notes. Watch out for that F sharp. One, two, ready. <laughs> Next, we'll play the major chords exercise. Be careful and make be be careful and conscious that you're playing the F sharp, not an F natural. One, two, ready, and. <laughs> Next, we're going to move on to the exercise called thirds. Now, this exercise starts on G, the second line G, and goes up from there. We'll need our second finger for a B natural, and the C, third space, is open, as well as the fourth line D is open as well. I've slowed my metronome down to seven, sorry, from 70 beats per minute to 60 beats per minute to give myself some more a slower tempo so that I have more chance to be more accurate with my pitches. I'm not going to hit every pitch accurately exactly 100% of the time, so slowing the metronome down for now is one way that I'll build accuracy. Later, I might be able to speed it up and move it to 70. Now, I was successful at 60 beats per minute there. A moment ago, I tried it at 70, and I wasn't successful. If that's something that happens to you, do what I just did. Pause, slow it down on your metronome, and get it accurate at the speed that's the best for you. Then work on improving the speed. Let's move on to our chromatic pivot scale. Now, our pivot note today is the high note D, which is no valves, okay? We're going to also need our fingering for C sharp, one and two, C natural, which is also open, B natural, second valve. We'll also need our B flat fingering, first valve, our A, first and second, our G sharp, second and third, and we'll finish with our G open. I'm going to bring the tempo back up to 70, and we'll go from there. Ready? And. <laughs>
on to our chromatic scale. Let's talk about our fingerings. We're going to start with low G, then G sharp, 2 and 3, A, 1 and 2, A sharp, which is the fingering we'll use for B flat coming down, but it's first vowel, then B natural, second, C open, C sharp, 1 and 2, D, first vowel, D sharp, that's our E flat, second vowel, E natural, F first valve, F sharp, second valve, and G, open. Coming down the scale, we've got G, then G flat, which is second valve, F, E, E flat, second valve, D, first valve, D flat, first and second valve, C, B natural, second valve, B flat, first valve, A, one and two, A flat, two and three, and low G open. Starting there. Here we go. One, two, And finally, we'll finish up with our corral. Now, the speed of the corral says 132 beats per minute, but I'm going to keep it slow at 70 so that we have accuracy. We'll need to remember our F sharps as we play this corral. One, two, So there you have it, concert C major. I hope I've been helpful. I hope you'll consider playing along to these exercises as well as some of our advanced scale exercises. Uh, I hope you'll consider playing them again soon. Remember, practice at a tempo that you can build some accuracy and then move up from there. See you next time. Keep on practicing.